Gott's milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ha! Ah. Monkey Penny, now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. What good is this without helium? Tanks, but no tanks. The one time I don't need a cab. Hmm. If you thought that was impressive, you should have seen the one that got away. Hmm. So this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Junk Box Gaming. My name is Michael, aka Mikey Moo. Oh, sorry. My name is Omnidirectional Mike. <laughs> he's, he's using an omnidirectional function on his fancy mic. <laughs> That's Nathan. And we're here playing uh, an older game called Spy Fox Dry and Dry Cereal. Now, this is. This isn't. This. I played. Spy Fox Operation Ozone. I just thought of something. What? I could be left twix, you could be right twix, because you said you can hear in one ear. You can hear you in right ear <laughs> and me in the left ear. <laughs> oh, oh god. Just love that. What'd you play Spy Fox? Op Sp Spy Fox 3 Operation Ozone. Okay. I didn't know there were two other games. But, um, yeah, this was my childhood. But, uh, I haven't played these two games, so. I want to play the first one, and the second one, we can play the third one, hopefully. And, um, 
so far it's not disappointing. Especially with the intro they did. No, it's pretty funny. Yeah. I like the old art style too. It reminds me of like Monkey Island. Like yeah. Of, monk of the two Monkey Island games I played. Point and click. So, let's talk to this pelican here. Hey, wanna see my tattoo? Your mother must be so proud. <laughs> I would be. <laughs> That's a fancy tattoo. Oh, can you click it on it and see oh. more stuff? <laughs> There's wow. the one his mom would like. Dolphins. And his pecs are moving as well. <laughs> across the board. Oh yeah, definitely. A bunch of chickens on a seesaw. Boat. The tank. <laughs> the rocket just bought them. Wanna see my tattoo? Tattooception! <laughs> That's like looking into OBS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um. It says Greek Cantina. It says happy hour 7 to 9. Happy hour? 7 to 9? Like 7 a.m. to 9 p.m.? Or just 7 a.m. to 9 p.m.? 7 a.m. to 9 a.m.? 7 p.m. to 7, 9 p.m.? It says trinkets. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's go. Looks like it's closed. It is closed. Oh, okay. Oh, oh there's more. How many colors can we get? I'll look at the guess green those next. Okay. Red frog. Oh, Grey frog. Yeah, that might be it. That might be it. Oh, hold on. Unless this one does. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's ascended. Alright, let's go down here. The door is locked. We can see inside. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well, right, good assumption, I have to say, Spy Fox. The first time I've ever been grateful I ate the airplane meal. <laughs> the door's locked. Alright, let's check our five 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 six two two zero. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. Monkey Penny. And if I remember correctly, that every time you play a new game, the thing stuff changes. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah. So it's not the same every time? Yeah. That's cool. Five. Six, two, six, zero. First Hello, try. You've reached the offices of Amalgamated Mood Juice and Oh, never mind. Our staff is a little tied up right now, so we'll have to get back to you as soon as we're rescued. I'd better rescued. try another number. <laughs> Five 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 six zero six. No. Oh my gosh. Five. This is me and freaking Meyer. Hello. Who is this? How did you get my number? Never call me here again. Probably wasn't the right number. <laughs> nope. What is this damn number? I honestly wasn't paying attention. Five 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 six two two zero. Damn. Five 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 six two two zero. I thought that was number six. Somewhere. Right. That wasn't my intention. Five five six two two zero. Hello, Spycore Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number.
It's a shipwreck. <laughs> Now that a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the Spy Gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. <laughs> this is Greek How money. Apt. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. <laughs> Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. A Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really <laughs> thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. Oh, we got dramas too. Alright. And we're back! Had some food delivered. So. Let's get on out of here. Professor, to Professor Quack will fill that vending machine up with spy gadgets as soon as he arrives. So make like a doctor and have some patience. <laughs> Damn, Monkey Penny. You know, know, some people say life is like an empty vending machine. You put in your quarter and all you get is a whole lot of nothing. Gee, <laughs> you're in a depressing mood today, aren't you? I'm leaving. Uh, I told you this before the recording when you were testing it, that Monkey Penny is a reference to James Bond. <laughs> Money Penny uh. is the... My spy watch is I just beating. love that she's already spy calling Fox me. To Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, we just Fox. <laughs> Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. You Don't could have told me this while I was there. <laughs> Will do. Spy she forgot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Ooh. That doesn't make any sense. Fish in the porthole. No. Thought it was laundry. <laughs> I think that's fish. Fish are just sea life, whatever. I don't know. Oh, I thought it whatever was it is, it's, supposed to, it's not supposed to be in there. <laughs> Nog Feta Factory. What does Nog stand for? Um, not only good. Huh? Not only Gouda. It's the Feta Factory. Not only it's not Gouda. only Gouda. That's what it is. Fish. Just all that for a rock. <laughs> all that for a rock. That was I like these point and click games because they just put the most outrageous mm. stuff. You're just like, okay. Yeah. Right, like on everything you can click. Ooh, cheese. cheese. Yeah. Mm. Cow. Okay. Cheese again. Tuna. Acme tuna. Yeah. I didn't know what any tuna is in this. Oh, it's Acme. So it's not copyrighted, it's Acme. <laughs> oh, it is Acme, okay. <laughs> hmm, N-O-G. If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, that stands for Nectar of the Goats, a world-renowned purveyor of goat milk and goat byproducts. All right, then. It says Feta Factory. 
<laughs> oh, normally I would karate chop my way right through a door. But this one seems to be made of solid steel. Can I use that toothbrush? Yeah, let's use the toothbrush. Hey. That's not going to do me any good. Oh gosh, that's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot dude. <laughs> Put it on heavy. Wow, it just breaks immediately. The laser toothbrush yeah. makes impervious steel doors pervious. I was gonna say, that's solid steel <laughs> I did that. Yeah. That's a heck of a laser toothbrush. Also, he carved an outline of himself in the door. I mean, he can fit through it easier, so <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Perfect. That's unnecessary yet, okay. It's like that hole in the wall game. And he rolled through it, and he walked through it. <laughs> no buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, Look at the how am I going effort. to get his rump roast down from there? <laughs> get his rump roast down from there. Uh, mm -hmm. well, uh, piranha. I wonder what a South American fish that can eat creatures yeah. alive has to do with making cheese. I have a feeling this is no ordinary yeah. feta factory. Yeah, it's not for making cheese. <laughs> Maybe. It's a uh, keep uh, people. It's a keep people quiet permanently. <laughs> Got a hot and hmm. cold. This must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. I'm starting to think that only the piranha out of here. pool seems to be getting hotter. <laughs> yeah, take a look at the fish. <laughs> <laughs> that makes the piranha pool colder. Oh my god, he's just bloop. He's just pressing it. So casually. Yes. Okay, he's a little better. <laughs> The little beasties seem to be slowing down. <laughs> oh, a little shiver. Yeah. <laughs> he has earmuffs on, I think. No, he does. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. Fish on ice. <laughs> okay, completely unnecessary for real. <laughs> Hey, he almost broke the ice. Uh-oh. <laughs> he moved the cross thing of his butt. <laughs> you saved me! Thank you, Mr. Um... Uh, Fox. Spy, Fox. Routine <laughs> rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good! I need to change my pants. <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox! All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you know what he you sounds have like. to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. Don Knotts. Away from the talk again. What? Away from the talk again. Oh. So when William the Kid's thugs made their appearance, I immediately snapped into action. They kind of must sound like Don Knotts, like that way he talks. Yeah. yeah. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoof and nail. How I did! My whole body is a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one that, thing. That is the oldest reference we just mentioned ever. Probably. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. But those that don't know, of my Don Knotts is a character. Well, he's an actor and then who played into characters like Barney Fife from Andy Griffith Show. He was also a uh, guest star in the Scooby-Doo franchise. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a... Many 
many like movies. Like a piece of beef. <laughs> yep. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Local Nectar here. of the <laughs> Goat finish. Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. That's the equivalent of someone Second, keep leaving an insert title later. He destruction <laughs> inside his secret fortress. Third, Graphic use this milky weapon of destruction <laughs> to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Oh my god. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Bye, folks. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. <laughs> Take over the dairy world. Apparently, that's hmm. uh, sounds challenging. Almonds I need already to taken find over. that secret <laughs> fortress and disarm Almonds, that milky weapon uh, of destruction. Skin. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's milk back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole can't thing is it now. hard to swallow. <laughs> you can't right unhear that. Get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. William the Kid. Oh, you're, you're just here. Okay. Who's that dude? That's Professor Quack. Oh. Like, he just shows up. <laughs> Good morning, Spy Fox. I took the liberty of loading the vending machine with some of my ingenious new spy gadgets. You should take a look at some of them, Spy Fox. They yeah, may come like... in handy. Who does he sound like? He sounds like Bentley from Sly Fox. Oh, from Sly Fox? The Turtle, the oh. turtle from Sly Fox. Oh, 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 Sly. Sly Cooper, sorry. Oh, Sly Cooper, okay. Sly Cooper. I, I said Spy Fox, I meant Either. Sly Cooper. <laughs> Don't bother me right now. I'm busy inventing a new spy gadget. You know what? That might be the same voice actor too. Aroma. Maybe. You mean That's a gadget uh, that writes with smell? My whole yeah. It's a pen that actor. uses invisible stink. Yeah. Mm. What gadgets do we got? X-ray. X-ray gum. And the shoe. Safe. Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. Hmm. Cheese and safe cracker, my gosh. It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. Cheese and quackers. I won't explain exactly how it works, because it's very scientific and complicated. Trust me when I say it works like a char. And it tastes great in soup. <laughs> Yeah, and this paper isn't half bad. <laughs> That's a running gag in this game. <laughs> well, in the series, he just eat. I know in three, he eats the pa eats the paper. Oh, okay. Yeah. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. Beef flavor. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out. Put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very that refreshing, very beefy flavor. You know, <laughs> four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. <laughs> a duck needs his fiber. That is very specific, that gum. Yeah. Something beefy. What like a cow, a perhaps? Trainer, Professor Quack. This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. Spy Putty. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. So like, I know what um... you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is resin, that I thought of it silicone. first. Like a silicone mold. <laughs> Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea. <laughs> you can do that with silly putty too. You just put on something. It appears to be a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most Night ingenious inventions. 
I hope it's just like a flashlight. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head, <laughs> and then you can see in the dark. How eliminate <laughs> Ingenious. Yes, and it has excellent arch support. <laughs> oh, definitely bad. Someone who's flat footed. Mm. Mm. Alright, open. Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's I swear it's a regular trick. coin. <laughs> Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemies. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. That's very specific. It has to be three <laughs> bad guys. Yeah. You have to be on the coin, and then it activates. <laughs> are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflinks. Suction cufflinks? I am very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb Sucks across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spot. <laughs> Mmm, that was a tasty one. Mm. Alright, we're good with that. That's the X-ray gum. You just take up the four of them. Yeah. Okay. Most of them are like. That's the spy. I'm pretty sure most of these are like one-time use. Yeah, probably. Like that toothbrush. Uh, let's... And if I can just take four right now, the night if it's not the right thing I need, I think I think I can replace them. Yeah, I was wondering if you could just like toss them or what you do with them. You'd probably put them back in the machine and just replace another one. Mm. But if I remember correctly, that's how it worked in Spy Fox that's 3. The cheese and safe cracker. Alright, let's talk to our beefy bovine here. <laughs> Mr. Utterly, why did you have to swallow the code in the first place? Couldn't you have put it in your pocket? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. That would have been a lot easier in the end, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Alright. Oh, <laughs> we can x-ray him. <laughs> Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. Four stomachs. This isn't going to hurt, that is it? Thing. Because mm -hmm. I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was easy. Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. He's getting more than just food. He's eating whatever he gets. Yeah. A Pokemon? What is it? <laughs> it's a clock. It's a a clock broken there. clock. Yeah. His ticker looks like it needs winding. Paper airplane. Uh -huh. I Pencil, oh my god, I dude. Find that punch card. I can look for that control panel it goes into. Oh, there's then, a code, but let me see what else is in milky there. Milky weapon of destruction will be disarmed. Stay crossed. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> looks like a... Oh, like it's a, a set? It's a, it's a Walkman. Or a cassette oh, player, yeah. yeah. Uh, a wrench. Oh, <laughs> wrench, yes. <laughs> there's a thumbtack. Sloppy Joes. <laughs> oh, oh, pork and spaghetti. Yeah. Meatloaf. Okay, let's just get It looks thing. like I need to find that punch card. Uh, is this not it? If I could find that punch card, yeah. then I'd be making some progress. We have to find the punch card. Oh, card. Without that yeah. punch card, I won't be able to disarm the milky weapon so, of these strings. Well, so, disarm code, so. Yeah. So. That's my 
on it. I've got to look for that punch card. William the Kid must be stopped. Okay. So I found the code. This is the card for the code, right? Yep. He woke up. <laughs> Here's where I. Okay. okay. All right, let's get back up top to the surface. Oh, the rabbit's there. Hello, rabbit. Welcome to the Trinket Emporium. My name is Gilbert. How may I be Hello, of service Gilbert. to you? Oh, honorable visitor to this, our dear island home. I'm not sure yet. I was just noticing your fine selection of trinkets. Sir, I think that you will find we offer much more than mere trinkets. We pride ourselves in having the island's finest selection of rare and hard-to-find collector items and antiquities. Excellent. One never knows when they will be struck with an unquenchable desire to indulge in a blatant act of bourgeois consumerism. Our thoughts bourgeois. exactly, sir. <laughs> How much is that cute stuffed kitty you have there? It is a little expensive, sir. But I would be happy to throw in some free stuffed kitty litter. Aren't those conical brimless hats called fezzes? If you say so. I've always thought of them as those funny looking hats worn by old gentlemen driving those small cars in parades. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, know, I know what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Could you tell me a little about those pennants? Yes, those were actual pennants waved by Emperor Theodosius himself at the 393 AD Olympics. Oh. That what is. could anyone possibly do with a whole jar of trinkets? It could be a paperweight. You could make a unique lamp out of it. It could be turned on its side to roll out cookie dough. There must be a million and one uses. All right, I'm leaving. Huh? Hey, you got it. <laughs> Uh, let's just go here. Locks Still locked. locked. I can't get in there until someone unlocks the door. Alright, let's go to the cantina. Yeah, the cantina's open. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like, for example, sugar, you just let me know. <laughs> Alright? Thanks, Bee. B-Bear. We'll be seeing her again in another game. Beat Bliss. It smells funny. Keep calm and remember you have beats. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Secret sauce. May cause drowsiness in alligators. Oh. Might be handled. Interesting. Handy later. Right, what is this lizard doing? So, you like playing the tango, do you? Oh, yeah. The tango really swings you crazy, cat. Plus, it's the only sheet music I have. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, that's this pig. Greetings. Interested in a little game of go fish, mister? Fox. Spy Fox. I've been known to play go fish from time to time. And you are? Artemis J. Big Pig. Please to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game Artemis a little more Big interesting? Pig. Would you care to play for some trinkets? I'm afraid I don't have anything I would call a trinket. How unfortunate. Why don't you come back when you have some trinkets to play with? Hmm, it makes the game so much more interesting. Need some trinkets. So we need that jar of trinkets then. Alright. I like the jar of trinkets, but I'm wondering if you have them in cans. It's uncanny that you would ask me that, because just this morning I ordered some. Unfortunately, they won't be here till next week. Hmm. What could anyone possibly do with a whole right. jar of trinkets? It could be a needs, paperweight. So you could make a unique lamp out of it. It could be turned on its side to roll out cookie dough. Okay. There must be a million and one uses. Would you let me give that wheel a free test drive? No. But if you buy it, you could take it out for a little spin. So, what's the secret to your business's success? Three things. Location. 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 That's one thing. <laughs> Tell me, what's the difference between a souvenir and a trinket? Souvenir is a French word meaning to remember. Trinket is a Middle English so word which means word? small shoemaker's knife. I oh, hope that clears okay. it up for you, sir. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a French word. Souvenir? 
Fair enough. Um, bring this up a little bit more. All right. Probably gonna be loud as heck, but I feel like we're gonna be quiet in this recording. Do you have any bigger fish? You should have seen the one that bigger got fish away. To fry. <laughs> Wait a minute! Is that a genuine Teddy Roosevelt teddy bear, circa 1902? Yes. They are very rare. It may even be on the endangered antiquities list. Hmm. I don't know if we have anything to What's give. What's nice huh? about these hats is that if you tilt the top up, they give some oh. little rectangular uh, candies which taste a little like soap. I think you've gotten a fez mixed up with something that sounds quite similar. We have the coins. We can use that to buy something. Oh, I totally forgot we got money. <laughs> Totally forgot about that. I'd love to take your money, sir, but wouldn't you like to buy something? Of course. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> really, Spy Fox. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. He's wow. not worried about money. Alright, let's just go back to the cantina so we can give this pig his jar of trinkets. Well, we gotta play. Play him for stuff. Would you care to play some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. <laughs> Excellent, then. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play go fish for trinkets. <laughs> Place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started. So, you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right, I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with you. Okay, this. looks like a fish. And a yo-yo. All right, we're playing. We're playing. We're playing Go Fish, man. All right. Let's say you played a lot of uh, Gwent in I have played Witcher some, 3. I have played some Gwent. I've played some Yu-Gi-Oh. I've played a lot <laughs> of card games. Yeah. Go Fish is a difficult one. Alright, let's see. Got any aces? Oh, nice guess. Uh, let's go with seven. Got any sevens? Go fish, Mr. Fox. <gasps> Alright, well. Hey. Got any fours? Ooh, damn, damn. Got any twos? Go fish. That's <laughs> crazy. Uh, let's go. Got any nines? No, sir. Go for oh, them. Got okay. any kings? Go fish. <sighs> Got any jacks? Not a one, sir. Dang. Get the, get the card. Got any eights? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Ah, how delightful. Got any fives? Nope. Go fish. Wait, what? Why do you go twice in a row? I have no idea. Uh, he doesn't have any jacks. He has a six. Got Try six. Sixes. Damn. 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 Got any threes? Nice try. He does have twos. But you need to go fish. He asked us for twos. Okay. Got any twos? I'll just take those two off your Hey, hand. we need one more. Um, ten? Let's try Got ten. any tens? Go fish. Got a nice king. Queens. Go fish. Ask for kings. And that makes a set, sir. Oh, oh he made a set. Damn. All right. Got any kings? I only have one. That's all right. Uh, let's go. Let's go seven again. Got any sevens? Go fish, sir. Go. Ah. Got any fours? Nope. Go fish. I think he did ask for threes. Got any threes? All right, there we go. One. Okay. All right, so far we got two sets that are almost done. Four sets that are. Maybe he two. drew an ace. I don't know. Got any aces? No, sir. Go Dang. fish. What if we draw an ace? Ah. Got any. Sixes. Oh, we did. We only have one. Got any 
queen. Nice try, nope. but you need to go fish. Right, uh, oh. Let's go. Tubes. Got any twos? Go fish, Mr. Ah, Box. My God. Okay. Got any sevens? Mm -hmm. Only one seven. Watch him finish a set. Sixes? Go fish. Nope. We can ask him for fours. He does have a four. Got any fours? I'll just oh. take those off your hand. Oh, God. We have three. Decent? Three sets of three right now. <sighs> okay. Um. What have we asked for in a while? Nine? Kings. Got kings? any kings? Not a one, sir. Dang. Go fish. Got any jacks? <sighs> Dang, he took two. He probably finished his set. Got any oh, no. five? Oh. Hey, we just drew that. Oh no! The combo. Seven. Oh. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Mm. All right, let's try. Let's try aces. Got again. any aces? <laughs> go fish. Darn. Dang it. Got any twos? Oh, he finished it. No. Oh, he finished the set. A match made in heaven, sir. Got any jacks? Go fish. Ooh, we can awesome. ask him for sevens. Got any sevens? Dang, we just can't finish the set. Ooh, let's try a ten again. Got any tens? Go fish. Stars. Got any queens? Nope. Go fish. We need one more nine. One more nine, one more four, one more ace, and one more seven. I know. <laughs> so close. Got any sevens? Oh <gasps> yes, we got a we got a set. Good right. guess. One set of cards taken care of. Uh, let's go with the king. Got again. any kings? No sir. No fish. Got any sixes? Nice try. He does have queens. But you need to go fish. Alright, cool, cool. Can't cool, ask cool. for queens. Got any queens? He has two. two. Dang, we're so close to so many sets. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Uh, let's go with the four. Got any four. Yes! Yes! We let's got guess. One game this is. I love this game. Alright, so it's 2-2. Two, two. Alright. I think we need four sets of four. But, um... Uh, what can we, oh, we haven't asked for aces in a while. Got any aces? No fish, sir. Dang it. Got any... Got a ten. Five. Go fish. We need one more ten. Let's go three. Got any threes? <laughs> go fish. Dang. I've always <gasps> been lucky when it comes to go fish. Look at the draw. Alright, so okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, so if you get the same one that you asked for, you can do it again. Yeah. I didn't know that it was a rule of go fish. Alright, uh, let's go nine. Got any nines? Yes! Oh, yeah, okay. let's go. This suits me just fine. Alright, I think we need one more set to win. Um, let's go. Let's go with the king again. Got any kings? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Nope. Okay. Uh, got any sixes? Dang, Damn, he just, just drew that. It. Yeah. He probably has a set. Got any fives? No. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Tens. Got any tens? Go fish, Mr. Darn. Come on, we gotta draw until one, right? Got a six. Queens. No! Uh, he finished his set. He got the queen. That's some. Sh that's mm -hmm. a shame. Hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. Got any jacks? I thought you said you were good at this game. Go fish. Ask for the sixes. Got any sixes? I'll just take those off. Hey! Yeah. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. No, no, we're still going. Um, hey, we gotta run out of cards in there. Got any aces? Go fish, sir. Yeah! Yeah! Just set! Let's go! Kings. Oh, took our kings. Oh, he's sweating. Five. Nice try, but you need to go fish. A man's sweating here. Yeah. Oh, I only have three. Yeah. So we're going to ask for one. Got any aces? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any threes? Oh no! Dang! I don't even know what the score is. Ah yes. I think it's tied up. One for me, sir. 
Got a new king. Nope. Go fish. Okay. Ask for jacks. Yeah, time no. Yeah. Got any jacks? I'll just take those off your hand. Okay. That's one set of cards. And then aces. Care of. Got any aces? <laughs> Go fish. I figured he did it. He never does. Got a new king. Darn, no, we just got that. Just one. drew it. I must apologize. And he, sir. Yeah. I am rather good at this game. Mm -hmm. A draw. It looks like neither one of us wins this round, oh, Mr. Big Pig. It's a draw. The last card was probably an ace. I played almost yeah. everyone on the island, sir. And I've uh. never met anyone who plays quite like you. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, so well, now I can back. talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. Okay. Oh, I can talk to him. All right. Speech bubble. Right. Yeah, just maybe click him. Click the thing, maybe. Have you tried the food here, sir? It's the best on the island, I can assure you. I can't get enough of it. You may be very shrewd player, sir, <laughs> but I hope you don't mind if I hog all the winnings. <laughs> they might need to talk to somebody else about this. Well, right. we can just keep playing them. I hate to leave such a challenging opponent, but I have some bigger fish to catch right now. Do you mind if I leave my jar of fish to fry? Go right ahead, sir. Come back any time. Let's talk to Bee Bear. So, is the food here any good? Well, between you and me, sweetie, let's just say it's no coincidence that you don't see any rats in this part of town. Tell me, B, what's a bright, muscular-looking bear like you doing in a rundown cantina like this? I ask myself that every morning, honey. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Thank you, next. Okay, Ariana Grande. Would you care to play for some trinkets? Place right. your trinkets on the table and we'll get started. We gotta go. All right, Mr. Big Pig. Let's see who takes home the bacon Jeez. this time. Hmm, you're quite a challenging player, sir. And jelly beans. Got any fives? Oh, a card. Good Thank you so much. Got any aces? Oh, what a fun two game. for two. Combo. Got any queens? Oh, three for three. Oh my Heck gosh. yeah. Well, kings be four for four. Got any kings? Go no. Damn. No, three is insane. That's amazing. Got any threes? Oh my nice gosh. try, but you need to go fish. Got any sixes? <laughs> go fish. Darn. Nah, too good to be true. Got any fives? Oh, damn it. Still my fives. That's what he drew. Got any <sighs> jacks? Go fish. Got any nines? Oh. A card. Cool. Thank you so much. Double Got any again. aces? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Okay, he Got has a five, so I can get his five again. Go fish. Fives. Got any fives? I'll just take those off your hand. Oh I wow! Game. He had three of them. <laughs> wow. Well, we had well, we had two of them, and he had one. So yeah, of course. The... Uh, let's go. The nine. Got any nines? Go fish, sir. Mm -hmm. Got any kings? Took the kings. Oh, Got any jacks? Nope. Go fish. I'll just know if we can draw a king, we can get this kings back. Yeah. Got any eight? No, sir. Go fish. No, oh, it's okay. Got any twos? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Is that for threes before? I don't know. Got any no. threes? No. No. What a yeah, fun game this is. Uh, let's go. Quick. Got any queens? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Damn you. Ooh. Got any jacks? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Nine. Got any nines? <laughs> go fish. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. 
Awesome, we get another turn. Why Why do we get another turn when we drew a nine, but not the six when we drew the six? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> maybe it's the same... I don't know if that other nine... No, I think the nine was the nine. The same, uh... What do you call? Well, they're not the same suit. Yeah. They're all different suits. I don't know. Weird. Got any aces? Do fish, sir. Got any queen? Damn! No! We just drew that! <laughs> Feels bad. That makes a set, sir. <sighs> Got any okay. twos? Nice try, but you need to... So it's one each for both of us, so. Yep. One, one. Uh, let's go three. Got any threes? Go fish, Mr. Box. Oh my god. Got any aces? He stole all our aces, man! This man's getting lucky on the draws, boy. We want... We got any... <laughs> oh, same, I mean, we got lucky Yo with fish. our three yeah. for three, so... Yeah, well, not the not the luck we want, though. We want to steal Got them. any threes? No, sir. Oh, no, I fish. said that again. Yeah, well, he's been drawing crazy, so... Mm, got any tens? Go fish. Got any eight? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got okay. any seven? Still our seven. Hmm. Got any ten? Nope. Go right. fish. Let's ask him for twos. Got any twos? I'll just yes, two twos. Off two your twos. Hands. Yeah, let's go six, six again. Go fish, sir. Dang it. Got any sevens? Nice try. Nope. But you need to go fish. Oh man, we're so close to getting. Ah, how delightful! That gives me a suit, sir. Dang, that's three. Yeah. Got any threes? <laughs> go fish. Got any? Oh, five. Nope. And... Go fish. Five in the chamber now. I know this is dangerous. <laughs> Got any eight? No, sir. Go fish. Well, we gotta draw one, right? Got any yeah. nines? Oh Damn. my gosh! <laughs> this man, that's four right there. Uh, uh, another one for me, sir. Hmm. Got any tens? Go fish. Swear. Ask for fours, I guess. Got four. any fours? He's gonna give us. Take those off your hands. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I think he's two up on us, though. Uh, let's go three. Again. Got any threes? Not a one, sir. Darn you. Fish. Darn you, pig. Got any jacks? Oh, Go he has for tens. Yeah, he has for tens a bunch. Got any tens? Oh, he yeah. made two. <laughs> ah. Again, five in the chamber. Got any sixes? Go fish. Oh, man, come on, bro. <laughs> no. Seven. No, I'm just ending. <laughs> Got any jacks? Oh my god, we just drew that. <laughs> Lord give it or take it away. Uh, twos? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Come on, we have to draw one. This yes, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Three. Sixes? No, he stole all our fucking sixes. Yeah, I think he won. Yeah, I'm good. It's like three to five. Jacks. Nope. Go fish. <laughs> he, got a, not easily discouraged, he got the jack. <laughs> It's like three to six. Okay, so I need to pay attention to what he's asking for. That's my problem right now. No, your problem is you keep just getting Got three, and he just keeps three. snaking them. Not a one shot, go fish. He just keeps snaking them from you. That's one. Okay, that's not one. That's like four to six, though. Got any jacks? Go fish. Got any eight? Yes. Yes. I guess five to six. I love this game. I'm keeping track right. Got any threes? No, sir. Go fish. Come on, let's draw a three. I've all yes! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> let's this go, bro. A draw. It looks like no draw. Another draw? What? Round. A draw. A big pig. Ah, <laughs> okay. come on. Oh, we gotta yeah. do it again. Yeah, I gotta try it again. Come on, bro. That man kept snaking all. He drew it <laughs> and be like, oh, eight or whatever. Like, yeah, come on. That's Got any stupid. <laughs> go fish. Alright, go fish, whatever. That's fine. Hmm, got any ten? Darn. That's fine, that's fine. Got any seven? Darn! Dang! Okay. Okay, three, two for two. Yes. Got any jacks? Holy Three shit. for three, what the hell? This is what happened to us last time. Two. Remember? Four for four! Oh, oh my, my god. god! He's putting us out! Got any 
queen. Okay. Okay. Fish. okay. Well, this is what. Maybe he'll get a lot of. And yeah, then we can snake him from. Go fish. Okay. Probably. Let's see. We'll Got see. Don't say. Four. Okay. I was like, don't say. Is this? <laughs> Uh, ah, how delightful. What? Got any eights? Nice try, but you need to go fish. You're the same with one of those pairs. Got any aces? <laughs> go Dang fish. It. Got any fours? We can go snake fish. the tens back. Got any tens? Ten? Yeah. Are we ask for threes or no? Got any threes? A card. Thank you so much. All right. Got any kings? Go fish side. Darn. Got any? Okay, there's seven. four. Yep. No. Nope. Go fours. fish. Got any four? Okay, so close. Um, let's go ask for the aces Got any again. aces? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any kings? Oh, he's like king. the king. Got any queens? <laughs> nice try. Nope. But you need to go fish. Ah, uh, how delightful. Ah, uh, he got a got matching one. Jacks. Nice try. You but you took need my to jacks, fish. sir. Mm hmm. Got any eight? I'll okay. just take Dang, those. We got a bunch. Here. We just need one more for you. A lot of them. Okay, got any we'll do a 10 then. Go fish, Mr. No. Fox. Well, got any threes? Oh, should ask for threes. Dang it. Got any twos? You probably oh, just fish. got that three. And I think you have fives too. Got any fives? No, sir. Nope. Oh, you didn't. Oh, I did. Maybe it was last game. Got any threes? Nice try. Took my threes. To go fish. Got any sixes? <laughs> go fish. I think he asked for six. But I'll try. Well, I got another six. Mm. I think the last time it was the same card matching suit. Or, Probably. like, color? Probably. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Not five. He didn't have any fives. We can ask for one of our big stacks. Uh, like, eight or four. Ten. Got eight. any eight? Not a one, sir. Uh, Go fish. Got any seven? He does Go have fish. twos, I believe. Yeah, he does have twos. I remember got asking, twos? him asking me twos. I'll yeah, just he has two of them. Off your hands. <sighs> we'll do got five. Any fives? Do fish okay. out. Got any nice. eights? Oh, the uh, eights. We just asked for eights. I must apologize. Yeah, he, he just, just drew it. Out. Yeah, he just drew it. Oh, man. Got any threes? Go fish. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, go Got six. Any sixes. Go fish, Mr. Fox. Darn you. Yes. Oh, at least I That's our third six, or fourth six we drew. We drew all of them, right? Yeah. Oh okay. my gosh. Okay. Uh, four. Got any four? Oh, yes. Let's go. I've always He's like, I just drew that. <laughs> okay, so two to one. Two. Got any twos? No, sir. Go fish. That's all right. Let's see what we draw. Got okay, five. Nines. Nope. Go nine. fish. Ah, uh, how delightful. Dang it. Got a new king. Nice try, oh, okay. but you need to go fish. Tens. Got any tens? Go fish, sir. Got any aces? No, we snaked him. We just. Hey, we're ah, snaking for his kings, nice. though. We can. For me, sir. Well, unless he asked for him. Got a new jack. Okay. I thought you said you were good at this game. Go fish. Okay. Kings. Got any kings? Two, I'll just two. take those off your hand. Only two. Got twos. any twos? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Uh, let's draw something good. A Got queen. Nine. Yeah, he has queens. He does have queens. Need to go fish. Got any queens? Oh, he has three. I'll just Only take those again. off your hand. Um. Go Got five. any fives? Oh, okay. One. Only one, Dang though. Dang it. Jeez. Um, we'll go tens Got again. Got any tens? <laughs> go fish. Come on, we gotta draw something. That yes! Yes! Set of cards taken Is that three to two? Got any? I believe so. Seven. Go fish. 
Ah, uh, how it. delightful. That gives me a suit, sir. Three and three. Got Both it. kings again. King? Why not? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Come on, we got luck of the draw. I've yes! Yeah! Four to three. To go fish. Alright, so... Maybe got two? any twos? No, sir. Go fish. Come on, luck of the draw again. Yeah! Yes. I love this game. Five to three. Oh, he's, he's sweating. sweating. He's sweating. <laughs> he's sweating. <laughs> Okay, um... Yeah, no, he doesn't have any of those. Got any tens? Go fish, Mr. Luck of the draw, three times in a row? Oh! Yeah. oh he was six to three! All right, Got any queens? Go fish, sir. Again? I swear. Again? Please let it be a queen. Please let it be a freaking queen. Okay. okay. Nine. Nice try. He has sevens. You need to go fish. Yeah, that's what we need. Seven. Got any sevens? I'll just take that those two, off your oh, yeah. three. Oh, yeah. Nice. I love this game. All right, queen. That's number Got any queens? Yeah, yeah, let's go. This suits me just fine. I win. <clears throat> oh, awesome. That's right. You never lose. There's a first time for everything, Mr. Big Pig. That is insane. We got yeah. three draws. <laughs> yeah, I'm quitting while I'm on top, man. Gosh. Woo. So I think we'll end it there. Yeah, save that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure. So uh, this, this is a trip down memory lane, even though I haven't played this. <laughs> but it just reminds me of me playing uh, Spy Fox 3, mm -hmm. which we'll get to. But uh, what, how are you liking it so far? I like it. I like the point click games. I've played like Monkey Island and um, Grim Fandango. Yeah. Well, the classic ones like that. Yeah, it's Sam and Max as well. Mm -hmm. Which I actually have on my Switch. Yeah. So we can play that sometime. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, thanks for watching the first episode of Spy Fox Dry Cereal. If you want to check out my other videos, you can uh, check our channel out. Subscribe if you want to. Also, follow us on Twitter and on Twitch. By the way, I do take requests. However, they must be submitted in writing on the first Tuesday of every month. Thank you for complying. We do not take requests. <laughs> uh, that was perfectly timed. Yeah. <laughs> Just came in. The perfect time. That's your cute thing to say your thing. I was. I got distracted by him. It's like, you don't have to if you don't want to. But We don't, don't take requests. We don't take requests. Well. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, once again, my name is Michael A.K. Mikey Moo. And my name is Middle Twix. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.